PowerPoint alternative? Canva? But why Canva? Briefly about me, I'm Dr. Aisha Saad. Previously, I've served as a university lecturer and trainer for workshops on presentation design, teaching with technology, and MOOC, Massive Open Online Courses for Educators and Professionals. I spoke at keynotes and plenary sessions at symposiums and conferences. And often some of the members of the audience came to me after the talk and said, that was a great talk. Do you use PowerPoint? And I said, "Um, no, afraid I did not. Prezi? No, I replied. So what apps do you use? Well, that was done in keynote and I have a number of favorite presentation tools for different types of presentations. Really? They ask. Different presentation tools for different types? So what's the best one? Those are the normal questions I would actually get. So times have changed. Presentation styles vary and have changed too. You see, from blackboards to 35mm movie projector, to overhead projector and transparencies to LCD projector, PowerPoint desktop version, and now we have online presentation apps. Google Slides, Haiku Deck, Prezi, Emails, Blend Space, PictoChart, and Canva, to name a few. Even PowerPoint and Apple Keynote hop into the internet bandwagon offering an online presentation editor. So what's the difference between desktop and online presentation apps and what what type of presentation in my opinion online presentation apps are the 21st century presentation tools they offer many advantages example sharing your presentation in social media publish it as a website on a single click of a button something that powerpoint and apple keynote need catching up Online presentation apps also get updated frequently without having to buy a new version or have headaches over different versions or compatibility at all. They are also much easier to to work with. They are often integrated very well with other websites and apps like Slack or Pinterest or LinkedIn. And they are also quite intuitive. They have tremendously improved my workflow. So it depends on whether you have a lot of content For example, if you want to deliver a six-hour workshop, that often would have a lot of content. And compare that if you are going to deliver like a a 20 minutes presentation, a keynote or a plenary, that would require you to use a different type of presentation tools. So in my journey as a presenter and trainer, I have my top five presentation apps or rather Top six. I've talked about this in my earlier course on Udemy, Elevate Your Research Presentations. A tie at number five are Haiku Deck and Sway. Then Blend Space at uh, fourth place. PictoChart, Canva and my magic wand is Apple Keynote. Canva comes after Apple Keynote and there is no PowerPoint, you you might wonder. While PowerPoint is a good tool, I've moved away from PowerPoint for designing most of my presentation. I found these tools much easier and quicker to use nowadays. But then you might ask again, but why Canva? Let me share with you my presentation that I did in Canva. I found that when I have my content, that it, um, I had a research paper uh, and I couldn't go to the conference um, at the last minute. So I had to prepare a video presentation. With Canva, I found out that I could create this 15-minute research presentation in about an hour. From zero, from nothing, uh, I only had my content as a research paper. And I plan it, I prepare it, I design it, and I get it polished and ready for string casting to make a, a video presentation. So, you know, normally, this kind of presentation would take me days in PowerPoint a Keynote. So I felt honestly really accomplished after that day, after creating that presentation in Canva. Honestly, is such an awesome feeling. So not only that, I simply love the fresh, stylish and modern designs offered by Canva. In this course, 
I'd take you step by step. I'll guide you and show you how to use Canva to design a beautiful and modern presentation.